Well, ladies and gentlemen, the European Union is once again in turmoil as the top of the European Commission and of course the rest of the establishment are having a bit of a meltdown after yet another resignation. This is Thierry Breton, one of the EU commissioners who has now resigned. This is the same Thierry who decided to go after Elon Musk and he lost that battle. And of course, there is now a massive infighting between him, Ursula von der Leyen and other commissioners. In this video, we're going to give you guys all that information of what's actually happening in the EU, despite the fact that the mainstream media are not really reporting the truth. Thierry Breton announced his resignation over a spat with the commission president, Ursula von der Leyen, uh, claiming that she asked Paris to withdraw his candidacy for her next term. Breton, who oversaw uh, key industrial and tech policies, cited questionable governance as his reason for stepping down. Von der Leyen's office and Emmanuel Macron have yet to comment. The interesting thing about this is that uh, France right now seems to have more power in the European Union than Germany. Because Ursula von der Leyen, who herself is actually German, so many times in recent months and years, have decided to actually take the French side rather than the German side. And it's funny because technically the European Union shouldn't have sides. The whole point of the European Union was supposed to be a family of uh, friends, European partners, equal partners. Nope, that's never been the case anyway. But uh, Thierry Breton obviously was the guy who was going after Elon. Uh, because of free speech. He didn't like free speech, obviously. Uh, after Elon had this conversation with uh, Donald Trump on X, uh, they had an interview, well, the conversation that they had, uh, they all kicked off. But since then, the relationship between Breton and other commissioners and all the other bureaucrats have escalated because they realized we are all losing, the European Union are losing against uh, the free speech advocates. So, it is now claimed that he has now resigned over disagreements with Ursula, um, who has accused him of, uh, uh, who, who he accused of undermining him. Now, just a few weeks ago, uh, Thierry Breton was accused of uh, undermining uh, free speech when he threatened Elon. Elon decided to basically hit back, saying, "I'm not going to follow any of your rules." They decided to say, "We will shut down X in Europe." Then they realized they can't really do that because it's going to be a, it's going to be a massive backlash and the whole world will look at the European Union as yet another dictatorship. And so they basically surrendered while overseeing the EU's enforcement uh, of new social media rules. By the way, Thierry, obviously, after sending his letter to Elon, warning him that the content on X is harmful. Then they were asked to provide evidence. They couldn't. So he was embarrassed. Ursula von der Leyen went out there making statements publicly saying, I've got the backing of Thierry Breton. Didn't really happen. Now they're all coming out saying none of that actually happened. They're all denying everything that we've already seen publicly. Now, the massive overreach by the European Union was it was quickly condemned by the US politicians and uh, obviously 18 US uh, free speech advocates and groups who accused the EU of election interference. There was an open letter that was sent out saying, warning uh, an online platform that streaming um, that streamed an interview with one of the two key candidates in the US presidential election may be incompatible with an online safety law uh, is more characteristics of an autocratic nation than a democracy. The European Commission and national authorities should ensure that the DSA is not applied in a way that harms freedom of expression, not only in Europe, but also globally. Now, that, that, that's a fair point. Of course, the European Union don't really care about the truth. So they've decided to find a new way to fight against Elon Musk. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.